to the vlog. Hi, welcome. My name is Kim. I'm an artist and I post about my experiences selling merchandise at artist alleys here in the Philippines within Metro Manila. And my event for this weekend is Comic at DGC. This event is special because it's my first event of the year. I am very excited about that because during the holidays, I was really focused on preparation and cleaning and organizing all of the back-end tasks of owning a business. I prepared and counted all of my stocks. I was more organized with tracking my expenses. I even managed to clean up some of my listings on my online store. So now it looks really nice, very organized and cohesive. And I even took it upon myself to keep track of all of the events for 2024. I listed them all down in a Google Sheet color-coded. Honestly, there's not much for me to do anymore, which is weird because I'm so used to like rushing and being so stressed about con preparations. But now, since I am already prepared, there's not much else to do but just wait for the con to arrive. So, I don't know who I am if I'm not rushing. Like, who am I if I'm not rushing? So now we're chilling. We're waiting for the event. Comic Ed is more focused on original art and not fan art. So for this event, I actually prepared some of my original artworks that I would like to show you guys now. These are some of my new prints that I prepared specifically for Comic Ed. I actually drew these when I was in high school. I drew these when I was in high school and I remember them having like a very deep and significant meaning to them but now as an adult that outgrew her emo phase i'm not really sure what they mean but they look very cool i only sell fan art as you know and it's my first time selling original art and i'm worried that they may not sell just as well i'm not i'm not even sure if anyone will buy them at all well hoping for the best I also have one more new print here. Hi! Hey! Hey! No! No! This is my dog, everyone! <laughs> I also have one more new print here, which is Zoro. Which is also my dog's favorite character. I drew this and posted it online, and a lot of people were asking for print versions of these. So here you go. It seems that I have a mask a community of crazy fangirls asking for topless Zoro. So here you go. He's here. So yeah, that's basically it. Nice catching up with you guys. Not much else to talk about. Nothing else to prepare for. So I guess I'll see you guys at the venue at Comic at BGC. These are my stickers, Honkai Star Rail, and then my Blue Lock, VNHA, and then One Piece. And of course, the fan favorite, my standees, keychains. I still have a lot of slots to fill in, so let me know whoever you want me to draw. And then we have my VNHA keychains, my Genshin daddies. I only draw the daddies, I don't draw the short ones, sorry. Um, and my main keychains, my best sellers of all of my merch, and then I have Hawkeye Star Rail. And I also have my prints, I have my gacha game, and then the prices, and I have my logo here. Um, sorry, but I won't be showing you the back of my booth because the back of an artist's booth is none of your business. Okay, so I have noticed na wala masyadong bumibili ng stickers. So, nilagay ko na yung stocks ko dito na naka-display para ma-invite silang kumuha lang. Usually, hindi ko to gustong ginagawa kasi nananakawan ako minsan. But, if wala masyadong bumibili, it's 
sa sacrifice. Ginagawa ko na lang to prevent death. Unti-unti lang yung nilalagay ko, mga dalawa. Dalawa isa, ganyan. Tapos, nare-refill ko na lang. Hindi ko nilalagay yung buong stock. So, if ever naman nakawan ako, at least isa, dalawa lang. Also, I feel like mas na-enjoy ng customers na sila na yung pipili ng isa-isa. Hindi na nila need sabihin sa akin kung anong gusto nila. And hindi ko na need isa-isa hit from my stock. So, kukunin na lang nila. Tapos, bibigyan nila sa akin. Tapos, ibabalot ko. So, it makes everything easier for me and the customer. Nagtitingin ka, hindi to scripted. Eight, seventy. Dapat, dapat na. 
I don't do man. Hello, it's my friend. I'm vlogging ya. Alam mo maganda yung cosplay mo, pinapukuliin ka sa sarili mo eh. Si Star, nagtitendo rin siya ng merch. Tsaka ng mga... Dati ano siya, Ito Sara. I think Ito Sara pa rin naman. Tapos, ngayon ano na siya, nagdodrawing yun siya ng more and more pokey. Yung holo, holo stars. Bagong hyper fixation. Kaya naman gano'ng post mo, puro gano'n. Anong balak mo next one? Ano, puro pamikit lang. Medyo iwas ako sa ano. Sa... Others. Na hindi ko pa dimension. Kasi on yung cover. Or okay lang sa'yo. 
Ah, kahit dahil yung magilaw ka na rin. Hello, si Jeff Boy. Partner ni Una, slash COO niya, marketing strategist, seller, Facebook social media manager. Therapist. Therapist. I guess so. In her vlogger era. Ha? Wala akong ay kumpet. Wala akong webcam. Sa tanda na ako sa vlog na yun. Yes. Ang change niya po, 2-7. Thank you so much. Ang change niya po, 2-7. Ang change niya po, 2-7. Kasi gusto ko. Pag natutulog ako, dinado sa lang ko yan. Ano mo ba rin niya yung character? Ano naman niya yan? Very in character. So, hindi naman siya, oo, oo, oo. Ano talaga mo, one piece? Lagi siya nakangubad. All the time. Every day. Ito, ano, with no clothes. Ano kasi, anatomy practice. Okay. Anatomy practice. Kalatumi praktis aku, perlu ulang gaya. Ah, you're missing out. Oh, nampak banyak tanong nang jawab. Putar kah di sini, para magbayar. Tapi balik ke sini, ada pub yang unah. Oh, fifteen. Change juga for you. Thank you. Ah, kalau nak pergi ke sini. I think we'll start now how much back up slowly. back home. Actually, it's been three weeks since Comic Cat. I'm actually editing the vlog right now. Nagmamadali na ako kasi papalapit na yung next kong event. Hindi ko po siya tapos. So now, it's time for me to share with you my post-con thoughts and reflections. How are my sales for Comic Cat? Actually, very good. Mas malakas yung sales on Friday and Saturdays for some reason compared to Sundays because usually, with the anime-centered events, mas malakas yung sales ko on Sunday. I think it's because Friday, maraming nag-work. And then after their shift, tadaan sila sa PGC Market Markets, so makikita nila kami. Tapos napapabili sila. But with Sunday, baka hindi siya madalas tambayan ng mga tao. The main problem I encountered during this con was sa sobrang daming tao and mag-isa lang ako, halos hindi na ako makaalis sa booth ko kahit para mag-CR lang. Thankfully, super duper nice nila Una and Kenneth nag offer silang batayan yung booth ko habang wala ako. Honestly, nakakahiya but they insisted. Sabi ko kasi, hey, if masyadong abala, huwag mo na lang siya bentahan. Okay lang naman. Kapag umaalis ako, kamo, babalik din naman ako agad. But they insisted, sabi ni Una, hindi, wag kasi sayang yung sales mo. Gusto ba walad ka ng sales? Kaya ganun siya sa akin. So, thank you. Thank you. You guys are such a blessing, honestly. The art community is so, so nice. And I feel so blessed because every time na pupunta ako sa cons, lagi ako natatapad sa mga taong Sobrang genuine and kind and friendly and everyone there just genuinely wants the best for you and want they want all of us to succeed. So now I'd like to end this vlog by giving out a round of thanks to first Una, Kenneth and Jepoy for being the best booth mates ever. Hindi for content. Genuinely, I had the best time boothing with you guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys in the next event. To everyone who dropped by my booth, said hi, complimented my art, my outfits. Thank you, thank you. And of course, thank you to you for watching this vlog. I hope to see you at the next event soon. 
バイバイ。